up everyone and welcome back so i've been missing for a few days i've come down with the flu and it's affected me guys you know it affects me asthma when i get a cold so i have been like trying to how many guys who are supposed to oh it's not good um it's affected me and I've had to like take them a few days off to recover. Like you probably can stay in the area in my throat and I've still got the cough. So yeah, I'm a lot better now because I've been having some nebulizers and things like that over the few days that I've not been well and I'm recovering. I'm, I feel well today I'm going out. So I, it's my first day out since last Thursday, last Thursday guys. So yeah, the last time I went out was last Thursday, so I've not been out, it'll be a week tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, like, you know, there's been the, a flu in the house. Um, Dad's had it, Dad's had it quite bad. Like I told you, last time I think I spoke to you guys, I told you he had an appointment with the doctors. I think that was last Thursday as well. Um, and, and he was put on um, steroids and antibiotics and stuff like that. So, yeah, oh, we had a month about, I think it was two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we had the stomach bug and now we've got this flu-like type thing that's going around. Um, it struck me a lot. Last time I was in the doctors and Paula was February. So before my medication for my lungs was put up, I was constantly in the doctors every two weeks, every single two weeks. Like I'd be put on steroids, it finished, and then, you know, I'd get ill again. Um, and then I'd have to go back in again and have more steroids. It was becoming like a thing with the doctors now, like we don't really like giving you steroids, but obviously you need them, you know, to um, be able to breathe, but it's not good for you in the long run. Um, <coughs> <coughs> it's not long good for you in the long run so i was sent to see a lung specialist to try and control my asthma and it has been controlled because me and Ayla was put up and it's been controlled see last time i had a cold was because i got i got the doctor to check was february i think it was february yeah they said february yeah that's the last time I was on steroids, so I'm doing a lot better. I'm a lot, a lot better than I have been in the past few years, guys, because I I was diagnosed with asthma at 22, and then it just got worse from then. So I didn't have asthma as a child, or I think I may not have asthma as a child. Like, I used to have, like, tight chests and stuff like that, and my mum just put it down to, I don't even know. She just said, oh, you know, I can't even remember, but yeah, but um, I was diagnosed at 22 and I had a quite a bad attack and the doctor said, like, chest my chest and said, you sound like <clears throat> an asthmatic, basically. <clears throat> Instead of you got asthma, I said, no, I've never been diagnosed, you know, um, but never really had, like, asthma attacks when I was a kid, only I'd struggled to breathe when... I was doing exercise and running and stuff like that, but never like had a, a bad attack like I have now. Never have had that. It's just like the older I got. And like I said, I was diagnosed at 22. So yeah, I have had really bad. Um, I have had a child with severe asthma guys like Alan. Oh, he was so, so bad. So so bad from the age of two like we found how he had asthma when we were in real we were on holiday um and he had his lips started going blue and you know we were new parents we were only young when we had Ellie and I was 17 when I had Ellie and, and I didn't know what I was looking out for or anything like that and neither did hubs but you know when your baby's not breathing right um so we got him straight we rang an ambulance from there got him straight to hospital and said I've <clears throat> have you ever like been told that he's got asthma or anything I went, no no he's never had problems up until now so that's when we found out he had asthma and it went bad from there he was in constant in i, I practice lived in high dependency unit and intensive care with him it just went from there 
constant, 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 constant attacks. It was all the time. Like he had one really bad. How old was I? I think he was about nine or ten. Yeah, I think it was about nine or ten. I might have been a bit older, I might have been eleven. Where they were gonna put him in the juice coma because all the medications they were giving him um wasn't working, opening his lungs and he was and he was he was really bad. He was really bad, he nearly died, but I've nearly lost him three times to asthma. Touch wood. He's been okay. He's been okay. He's 19 now and he's not had I'm not gonna say jinx myself. He's he's not had a uh, attack since so touch wood. And Hubs as well. So me and Hubs have asthma and then Ellen has asthma. Um, our oldest, our teenager. And we've had a pretty rough time with him from the age of two. Anybody that knows us, you know, knows how ill Helen has been basically all his childhood. Everybody that knows us knows. Um, he has been ill all his childhood. He's, he didn't have a childhood, guys, because he basically lived in Aspo. Um, so, yeah. Asthma, asthma. I wish you could find the medication and just take it away. I hate the thing. Um, take it away. I know a few of you guys have got is it obviously LPD or something, a lung condition, and I know a few of you guys suffer with your lungs. It's a terrible, terrible condition to have because when you can't breathe, you feel like you're suffocating, and it's so, it's an awful feeling. You get so scared, you know, when you can't breathe. It's horrible. It is horrible guys it really really is it's a horrible um condition to have it really is it's so scary like if it feels like when you're underwater and you know when you're holding your breath and then you're like oh i need to get out now i need to be able to that's what it feels like but you can't breathe and then you're getting all these medications trying to help you breathe and it's so awful it's a it's an awful condition to have guys but basically i'm on the men now and it's my first day out in a week probably get i've got cabin fever very very badly and um, it's the first day i've been to go out been able to basically go out get up and get out i wanted to go out yesterday but i was like no 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 you're not able no 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 but i do feel able today obviously i'm probably gonna get a more like breathing heavy and things but i'm a lot better i've got no wheeze no ways at all, and I'm not coughing as much, so. Anyway, I've been yapping for too long, but that's just a quick update of what's been going on. And, yeah, I just need them a few days to recover, guys. I wouldn't have been able to pick a camera up anyway. I wouldn't have been able to film and do anything because all I've done is basically rest up, so. Yeah, so I think the flu's out the house now. Well, I hope it is. I hope no one else comes down with it. <coughs> I really do hope no one else comes down with this horrible thing. But, yeah, anyway let's go out because i've not been out for ages so we are at petrol station um do you want anything um coffee. coffee yeah yeah um feels great to be out like i said guys i've not been out in a week well it'll be a week tomorrow so it feels great to be out just went to the chemist to get aero chamber um because I'm not really that good, you know, at spraying, like, the cartridge. Is the cartridge, that's what it's called. You know, spraying the inhaler. It always, like, it never gets into my lungs. It always ends up in the back of my throat. I can remember Ellen's asthma nurse. And my son, Ellen, used to have a nurse, cause, a nurse weekly because how ill he used to be. So he'd have a nurse come to the house um, weekly to see him. That's how bad he were, guys. Really, really bad. Um, we've come so far as a family for what we have been through um what we went through with Alan we have come so far and we thank the lord that we still have our firstborn son guys because it was touch and go with him a lot of times we thank the lord we still have our child we're blessed and to still have our child um so yeah so I pick this up now, so this helps me a lot more, like I said, that I make sure I'm taking my nail properly. Alan's nurse used to say she'd rather everyone or adults, you know, children, obviously children have chambers, um, but she'd rather all adults, that's what she said to me, because sometimes you think you're taking it, but you're actually not. Um, I don't know if that's everyone, but that's what she used to say. Um, she'd like every adult on one of these. So... If you have asthma, guys, and you know you're an adult, 
ask for one it might be easy because every time i used to take the inhaler it used to send my head like whoa spinning i used to say that to her um they asked me her, she went yeah because um something you're not doing it properly so it used to like send my head on a wobble but when you take it through this it's a lot easier that's why we're i'm on one of those and hubs has one and we make sure we're taking our medication properly basically um uh, was the only one coffee what? How come you got a can? Oh, because it's a Costa. Costa, I and, like. And um, this was the last one. Uh, that's what I just said and yeah. you said no. Yeah. That was the last one. <coughs> I thought it was just these. <coughs> I thought it was just these. Uh, two for three quid, but it's not. Do you know what? When we came before I got ill, was it big? No, it was last weekend. No, the weekend before. Because one on this weekend just got. Yeah. They didn't have any then, neither. I know. So, yeah, they didn't. <laughs> no. Are they still two for three quid though? Yeah. That's why then, because anywhere else, like if you go Asda, Tesco or Morrison's, it's like three pounds just on their own, do you know what I mean? And they're really nice, especially when you're on the go and you haven't got a kettle just to come here and do mm -hmm. a coffee, have you? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, anyway, we're going to do some Christmas shopping. Um, I'll take you along to B&M. We're going to go to the big one, aren't we, Yeah. The market's on today, you know. Very much. Hey, you're driving. I ain't got my belt on. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, <coughs> well, let's go and do some shopping. So we finished up with um, B and M now, guys. I got a few Christmas presents out of there. Oh, whoops! I still don't look well. You can it's tell I've not been well. First day, first day out, isn't it? So I look really rough. I'm gonna. Um... A bit weird. Yeah, I do feel. Little. It feels great being out there. <laughs> obviously, I'm I'm breathing more heavier and everything because obviously I'm not still full of a cold, but you understand what I mean, guys. When you just get over the flu. Um. It's not hundred percent. Not un. Not, 100%. not. No, not there yet. Um, but it feels great to get out. I just to me, I look really rough. I still look quite run down. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I've got three presents for Keegan and something that he will really love. Um, <coughs> something that he's going to love. And I know he's going to love it. And then I've seen some on the way out that Keegan's into music, isn't he? Yeah. Um, he loves to sing, like at the minute, because of the older teenagers. Oh, caravan. Um, he likes to sing um, rap music. Oh, guys, you've got to see him do it. It's funner. It's funner, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And Keegan does um, Central C or oh, what's he got the other one called? He likes Bugsy. Yeah, he likes Bugsy. Yeah, Bugsy Malone. Um, Obviously, the um, H. H, yeah, that's it. That's what I was looking for. Um, them three. So he loves, he should, he should, I need to get him to do it for you. Um, it's funner, isn't it? I'd say that, um, that guy, what's the word? Is it the Scottish guy? Louis, uh, Louis, Louis, I forgot his fucking name. Oh, it's not that one, no, I lose control. Oh, no, I know what you're on about. The one he always, yeah. when it comes on, he gets goes, really, Mum, Mum, Mum! Gets really excited. Yeah, he does. Extremely excited. I can't remember his name. I know it's Louis. Louis Capaldi? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Keegan's obsessed with him, guys, when that song comes on. <gasps> oh, he, he goes mad, he goes mad. I love Christmas where we do karaoke and he'll <coughs> sing it for you. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Um, so yeah. So I got myself, bought myself a new TV unit that was reduced to £40. And I'm really happy with it. It's higher than the one we've got already. Um, because at the minute, Natalia keeps, what's she like? Oh, she keeps getting on top of it and standing on it and jumping off. Yeah. I'm like, oh. She's copying what Calder. Yeah. She see Calder do her, the stunt and she wants to do it. Yeah, yeah, and she's scaring the life out of me. Oh, sorry about that shaking, guys. She's scaring the life out of me, she is. She keeps standing on top of me, and it like one of you, you guys, I say only one of you, um, you guys seen it last week where she was standing on top of the TV unit, and yeah, she's at that stage now. Um, danger oh, stage. Geez. Yeah, and it. My heart's in my mouth with her, seriously, it really is. My heart's like, oh, Natalia! 
you know i'm very 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 anxious with the kids having accidents and stuff guys i'm very anxious um my ch none of my children have never broke an arm they've never broke a leg now here's me i'll jinx myself now and it'll happen no <laughs> never the only like bad accident where we've had is that one of my children who needed surgery is jumping off the table but has landed on his mouth in, his in, yeah um and that was my oldest 19. he did it when he was was he three or four it was one of them wasn't it no i think he was three i think he's three or four yeah three. one of them three, yeah. yeah and he jumped off my table but he didn't put his hands out and landed on his mouth and then his mouth all oh, hanging out and i'm like oh well, pups, does that work can i hold it his inside lip mm. that was hanging out it was split and that was it yeah Ups was at work, like I rang Ups. He got up because work was close to home, so he, he, was, he got home and I showed her and her mouth was hanging out. And he was like, Oh, Jade, how did I know? Stop, I'm like screaming. Um, and then because we didn't drive and his mouth was hanging off, obviously, we were only young ourselves, weren't we? Uh, and I rang an ambulance. And um, like I said, you only worked across the road then, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so yeah i was so scared i rang an ambulance for hubs club but obviously he had to come back to look after ethan because ethan was only young then um because i didn't want to take him drag him to me and a so yeah it was scary and all his mouth and then he got trans that was when we lived in old trafford no stratford what it when we lived mm -hmm. in stratford um and he was um sent to bupal hospital so if you were in children's hospital so if you're from manchester area and you remember Booth hall that's where alan had to have his surgery for his obviously life. it's gone now it's gone now it's they've knocked houses. it down yeah we only have one hospital now and that's the royal children's hospital in manchester but oh guys i've been really lucky for only one of my children to have one major accident and that and that was that um but natalia at the minute She's scared the bleeding lights out of her. She's doing all the seeing the other day when she jumped off it in it. I'm like, oh, deja vu's come back. Oh, God. I can't, I can't be having yeah, another she's one. Copying, she's copying Cody, but she's getting into like watching the wrestling a little bit. Yeah, well. she's doing wrestling, yeah. So I think she's copying that. She goes, when they jumping on each other. Yeah, she gets, she like it. She goes, one, two, three. <laughs> it's like, no, Natalia, no. Because I had to see Alan get put under. You remember on that, um, when they had to put him under, put him asleep. Yeah. It was the most awfulest feeling when they do that. <coughs> oh, it was awful. It was awful. I never want to go through anything like that in my life. Um, like putting him asleep and he had to have a surgery on his mouth. It was awful. Awful. So little Mr. Telly, you need to stop. <laughs> Ooh. They're nice. I love them frost. It's a Christmas here. The ones with the Christmas trees as well. They're not really Christmassy though, white. Not judging if you go white for Christmas. Um, got some barbers. Tree for 24 pound. Mm -hmm. Um, ah, look. Ah, that's so cute. Little rabbit. Ah. <laughs> Do you know what? I've been here and never done Christmas stuff like this before. Oh, there's a candy cane one. Oh, and the gonks. And the, oh, reef. Ooh, love it. And I got a Christmas, oh. Look at those polar bears. One pound, they are so cute. And we got some snowmans. Teddy bears. Do they sing and dance, them ones? Yeah, I knew it was one of them. Oh. oh. Come on, come on. Why aren't you working? Oh, it's not working. Christmas tree, £38 for a seven foot. That's quite cheap. Oh, my camera's cloudy. That's really cheap, that. That's really good. Um... Let's have a look at some trees. Let's have a look. Supposed to be here for paint. That's seven foot. Hmm. 
<gasps> uh, ooh. Oh, look at those little Christmas trees, six pound. And then you got that for 80 pound, but at the minute, they're reduced in all bargains, so it's 38 pound. Oh, I like that, oh, I like that one. It is seven foot, that one. And it's cute, I do like it, I'm not gonna lie. And then there's this one. Oh. Hub's just looking over there. He's like, it's not Christmas yet, Jade. <laughs> but then that one's 250. That's that's a nice one, that one, isn't it, over? Yeah. Are you just agreeing with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the one we got last year, didn't we? The new one, remember? That's what I was just thinking. But still can't beat our white one, it's massive our white one. Um but I was just saying, you know, them um, them that go over like that in own bargains are 38 pounds. I know, just seeing that. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope. But the girls would like one of those. I get a bit paranoid with Christmas lights in the bedroom, you know, because, you know, I know what they've got that in home bargains at the minute. It's 18 here. Mm -hmm. It's £80 in here, home bargains. I've got a big one, £38 at the bin, it reduced. But Christmas lights were me in the kids' rooms. I think they're dangerous. I get scared in case, like, they sat on fire. That scares me. So I wouldn't mind one of these. These are all right, aren't they? I think I'd like one of them in the hallway, actually. You know, put a tree in the hallway. <laughs> but... Yeah, I don't agree with having Christmas lights. I'm not judging anyone who has Christmas lights, you know, in the children's bedroom. I'm not judging anybody, but it just makes me too anxious, guys. Anx I'm very, very you anxious. Won't, you won't get one of these for uh, Shannon's room? Shannon's already got one of them in white. Yeah. It's just the Christmas lights I wouldn't have on it. All right. Do you know, in case she fell asleep and they, they were left on all night, that's what, that's what scares me. Yeah, that's what's usually causes the fires. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas lights is a big factor of you know fires and that's what scares me um so i wouldn't put christmas tree lights on my children's on my children's christmas trees in the room no way they've all had one of them each <laughs> and they just put like baubles on it and stuff oh uh, yeah shannon had that one last year i remember that one but we picked two deluxe um white matte paints up um so the deal's not two for 28 anymore it's two for 40 um so yeah but it is really really good paint they've got two for 20 on the lean lens one but that's really watery and rubbish guys it just runs down the wall it's horrible so we're gonna go for these two two for 40 two 10 liters we got the deluxe paint let's get i showed you i showed you anyway didn't i guys and they stop saying so, so annoying. So annoying, so! <laughs> um, yeah, we got the paint. They did have a cheaper one. The Leyland one, was it called? Or something like that, wasn't it? I think but so. We've got, we had that one before and it was really run out and horrible because I don't want to get that because it left streets in the wild last time. It, you can tell it's like very cheap and um, horrible paint. So we spent the £40 on two deluxe 10 litres because I did buy them last no a couple of months ago didn't I? I used the last bit on the kitchen the other night well before I got ill I used them on the kitchen Um, because the kitchen has been painted because I need it to feel like clean guys like when you repaint your kitchen it, it makes it look clean and you know tidy and that obviously I've still got me horrible cupboards um, but <laughs> A fresh coat of paint makes it look clean so that's what i did and um, the gray wallpaper i had i got rid of that um it's all white now um i will show you when we go home it's just near the kitchen back door that needs finishing because obviously i got ill i couldn't finish it so it's just near the kitchen that needs finishing near the kitchen door um the back door needs doing there you're gonna do that up so you're up to it aren't you um, so yeah and I've got paint as well because Shannon wants to start painting a room um, this weekend 
so I'm gonna wallpaper it when I'm up to it wallpaper it. I'm gonna wallpaper the teenage boys because I got them like um PlayStation wallpaper so it's got joy pads on it anyway so I want to do that for the boys but like I said I can't like just jump into it right now so I'm just happy I've got the paint um, the deal in two for 28 anymore is it? It's back up to 40, two 10 litres for 40. Yeah. So in the summer it was two deluxe for 28. So no, it's back, it's up to 40 now. So, well, that is quite good, that actually, because there's still like for a 10 litre, aren't they like 30 odd pound on their own? Something like yeah, that, yeah. aren't they? The deluxe because a bit of it's thick and it's better paint. Like I've seen the quality when I bought Deluxe in the summer on that that, that um, bargain, two for 28, I bought two then, and you can see the difference between the cheap paint, can't you? And the um, Deluxe, you can see, the well, the difference is really good. Um, it proper sticks to the wall better, and it looks a lot better, um, a lot better. So we've got another two to carry on through the house, because I want the house looking nice for Christmas, guys. I want it looking nice and fresh for Christmas, so. Yeah, and yeah, the kids' rooms do need a fresh coat of paint, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was last year when I did the rooms, but they did definitely need a fresh coat, so yeah, they, them two will do it all, so hopefully they will, if not, I'll have to go back and get some more, but they've just gotta do the kitchen bit on the hallway, so I'll probably start that, not tomorrow, probably, hopefully I'm all right in it. He'll have a moan at me. No! No, won't ya? Not like in a controlling way. Like, he knows what I'm like when I've just recovered. I jump into it, don't we, up and then I end oh, up yeah. getting ill again. Because I've not let myself rest. So, he's not like doing it in a controlling way. He's doing it in a caring, loving way, guys. You don't know how to chill. <laughs> I just feel like, I don't know. It's because I'm nesting as well. I'm nesting as well. I want everything nice when the baby comes. Because it's not long till the baby comes guys i'm nearly five months do you know what i mean i'm nearly five months pregnant already ain't it up there 18 weeks it's, today yeah 18 weeks today i'm 18 weeks pregnant so i just want to be so prepared for baby um and yeah i'm just trying to get everything ready for baby and everything nice for christmas so i'm trying to be really really prepared because if i'm not prepared then i get overwhelmed and i get stressed and i can't deal with it um so yeah anyway that's my little, little rant on um i'll go home and i'll show you what i did in the kitchen so far because i've decorated it spooky for the kids for halloween and um, we did come across one pumpkin i got that before i got sick so we do need to get a couple of more pumpkins don't we yeah um hopefully we can get some they've not sold out we've too. been ill haven't we so yeah. we've not been able to get any yeah you will the kids break up um friday yeah. Mm -hmm. yep excuse me Right. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys when we get home. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. is putting my tv unit up now and i'll show you when it's done guys i'm excited yeah yeah my princess is here so here's where we're up to so that's the tv unit guys and i'm like mm, it looked bit to me it looked bigger it looked bigger um so it's not that big to be honest but tell me what you think, guys. Do you think the other one suits there or does that suit there? I did have my new lamp on there, but um, hubs has took it in the kitchen because my kitchen light's still not fixed. So he needs that light in there um, because hubs is cooking tea tonight. Um, so, yeah, little miss is asleep. 
But yeah, tell me what you think of that little TV unit. I thought it was going to be a lot taller and a lot longer. But look at that's what it looked like on the box anyway. So, yeah. So, at the other TV units here um, with Little Mrs. Toys on there. Um, let's just stand back. So, that's Little Mrs. Toy Corner. Ignore me blinds, guys. John Joe, not John Joe, Cody's done that. You know, looking through him at Teddy when Teddy's in the garden and he's end up bending one. He's end up bending um, one of my blinds. So that's why you can see that big gap. Having them kind of blinds with kids is just a big no-no, especially when they're rosy. <laughs> but yeah, this is Baby Girl's like unit for now. Um, puts all her toys on there that she got for her birthday all the blocks there's still a few boxes of wooden toys here that she's not opened yet and there's another one over there um but she's opened them ones and them ones she'll just open them when she's ready um so yeah so tell me what you think guys about the skirting boards need painting um but i will be doing that soon i just need to get back on my feet like where that long tv unit has been definitely need painting but yeah, this is the way it looks right now. And it's all nice and clean and cosy. It is cosy when I've got my lamp in here as well. But yeah, tell me what you think. If the big unit suits go in there or the small TV unit. But like I said, I thought it was going to be bigger, but I was wrong. So yeah, it'll do for now. We're having it all nice for Christmas. I'm so excited so excited i can't wait to do an air up for christmas so excited i picked a few bits up for christmas um so yeah yeah but little girl little princess loves the corner but she's still going for my stuff she, oh come on camera focus she's still going for my stuff she's still taking me um candles she's taking me clock that clock service that i'm surprised it's still um i'm surprised it's still like like that because she's obsessed with taking it off because you just hook it off. And I've had to move the smaller pumpkins up there so she can't get them and put the flower vase there. I've had to move the flower vase because she keeps trying to grab that. So she loves my stuff over there. My stuff I like to keep there, nice. I say, no, your, your corn is there, Nelly. No, no, you know, you, she's got all the toys she wants there, but I'd rather have mummy's stuff. She picks that Hello Pumpkin up loads of times. It used to stand up, but it doesn't stand up anymore. <laughs> because she took the thing off it well she dropped it and it come off so yeah i've had to move my dollies up here guys my dollies up there because i think it was one of the boys actually um broke one of my dollies you know my dollies up here one of them got um broke the other day so yeah so i have to keep my stuff out of reach for the children and my rug i do love my rug you know, you can have rugs with children, guys. I dust. It needs to be now because it's got a little bit of decorations on because I've just took the decorations off the seedling because I've been ill and I didn't take the stuff off the ceiling. I've took my lampshades off because I'm in desperate need for new ones and it looks bald up there. Hubs with no um, light shades. <laughs> it looks bald up there. I told she, yeah, I told she I didn't take the sellotape off, which I didn't. She pulled the things down before. That's why they're on the rug. Um, and she's not took the sellotape off now. That's going to take my life that now. Because the TV's shining off it. I've ordered some LED lights for Christmas. So I'm going to be having the red on for the back of the TV. They're coming off Temu soon. I'm waiting for my order. So I want to get all cosy after Halloween for Christmas. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at me, little princess. I look. Look at her. Bless her little cotton socks. She's going to wake up to a nice curry and rice in a minute. My baby girl. Nice hot meal for this cold weather. <laughs> so, I thought I'd show you guys the kitchen. Um, mind me washing. I have been ill. Um, and this is me catching up with me washing. <laughs> me catching up. So I've got about four loads done already today. So that's that. I've got another load here waiting to go in the dryer. Um, this is my tablecloth. I do still have my grey one underneath. I've painted this whole kitchen 
that was before I got ill though. Um, they are new blinds. Um, I did paint the kitchen before I got ill. Painted it white because if you remember, this was grey. Um, yeah, it was completely grey. I've just painted it all white, all white, and I absolutely love it. It looks clean and tidy here now. So, so let me just show you what I've done so far for Halloween. Look, guys. Look, look, look. I've got no light in here. Like I told you guys, I think I told you the other day, my two kitchen lights are not working. So I'm still waiting for them to come out and um, fix them. That's why it's so dark. Here. I've got a lamp in here. Um, I've got another lamp there. Like I'm using that um, tower one. But there's something going on. This house is doing my head in. It's falling apart. It's doing my head in. It is a very old house though, you know. Um, so let's carry on. So the Halloween store... I've got so much up up to now. And then I've got, ooh, cake. And who are they on there? Who are they, cakes? Don't There's a, no, they're not clowns, son. They're skeletons. They're skeletons. They look pretty cool. And then what else have we got? We got the red um, pork, scary pumpkin face. Then we got spiders. And we got pumpkins. And let me step back a bit. We've got that hanging up there. And yeah, I think it looks good. You can see it better, guys, in the day. Um, and obviously, I've got washing everywhere. So it looks better when it's tidied up. I've got washing there. I've got this. Needs to all be folded now. Needs to all be folded now and put away. Um, this is the tablecloth that I have. 99p out of home bargains, this one. Um, so, yeah. So, I need to get into folding this. And wait for my dryer to finish. We do have two pumpkins. We're going to save them for weekend and sort the pumpkins out. I bought two mirrors over there. Um, I bought them today. So, I'm, not just, I'm going to decide where I'm going to put them. I think I'm going to put one in the bottom toilet because I was in the middle of painting that before I got sick. So, yeah, I've got two. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put one in the hallway and one in the bottom toilet. I don't know yet, guys. I don't know yet. I just have to wait and see. But look how much clean and tidy it, do it looks. The ceiling needs a paint, I'm not going to lie. Hubs is going to do that for me. We're going to hopefully try and get that done for Christmas. I can't do that, guys, because I'm pregnant and I can't stand on the um, I can't stand on the chairs in case I, thought I fell. So it's a bit dangerous for me. So when Hubs has got time, he's going to do that. But I've done all here. Like, this was completely grey. And it's, I've just gone so many coats over. And now it's white so got another two tins of white as you guys seeing today but that's for the landing bathroom and the two bedrooms um so yeah i want it all done for christmas guys see it looks more tidy and clean but it doesn't really because it's got washing everywhere you know i'm trying to catch up with washing got uh, i'm nearly halfway down my basket now well, more than halfway so yeah i absolutely love it it looks very creepy <laughs> So here it is all done now guys, washing sorted. Here's the pumpkins we've got for weekend. Um, so yeah, I think we need to pick another one up, don't you love it? Or should we do? Boys versus girls. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That'll be good, wouldn't it? Carver, carver. Yeah, I think that's what we should do, innit? Little competition. Yeah. Have you just seen Nelly in the background, guys? She's chasing Teddy, trying to give him treats. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's all tidy now. That's all. I'm happy. I got a clean dining room now. And washing's been put away. <laughs>